we're asked to evaluate the given double integral over the region D, where the region D is given here, where D equals the quantity x squared plus y squared less than or equal to nine, and our function f of x comma y is equal to seven. Let's first focus on the region of integration. We know that the quantity x squared plus y squared equals nine would be a circle on the xy plane centered at zero with a radius of three, which is shown here in red. And because we have the quantity x squared plus y squared less than or equal to nine, the circle in the area in the circle is the region of integration. And next, because our function f of x comma y is non-negative over this region, this double integral is going to give us the volume under the surface above the xy plane over the region d. So if we look at this graphically, f of x comma y is the plane graphed in blue, the xy plane is graphed in yellow, and we can see the region of integration is this region here looking down on the xy plane. So notice how the volume under the surface above the xy plane over this region is a right circular cylinder, which means we could evaluate the double integral using the volume formula, volume equals pi r squared times h, which we'll do after we evaluate the double integral using polar coordinates. When converting to polar coordinates, it's important to remember that our function f of x comma y must be written as a function of r and theta, or f of r comma theta, using these formulas here. And then differential a, which is dx dy or dy dx in rectangular form, is equal to r dr d theta in polar form. So we have this extra factor of r when converting from rectangular to polar form. So starting with the given double integral, we're integrating over the region d of f of x comma y, which is equal to seven. And then we have dx dy. In polar form, we'll have the double integral of now for f of r comma theta, because f of x comma y doesn't have any x's or y's, f of r comma theta is still going to be seven, but then we have r dr d theta. Now we need to find new limits of integration for r and then theta. So looking at the region of integration, notice how r would start at zero and go out to three. So the limits of integration for r are from zero to three. And then to trace out this area, we have to rotate one full revolution, which means theta would be from zero to two pi radians. Now we first integrate with respect to r. So the antiderivative would be seven times r squared divided by two, or just seven halves r squared. So when r is three, we'd have seven half times the quantity three squared minus when r is zero, of course we have zero squared. So notice how here we just have seven halves times nine, which is 63 halves. Let's go ahead and factor that out. So we'd have 63 halves times the integral from zero to two pi of just d theta, if we want one d theta. So we'd have 63 halves times the antiderivative of one with respect to theta would just be theta. So we have 63 times the quantity, we'd have two pi minus zero. Well, 63 halves times two pi, or if we want two pi over one, simplifies to just 63 pi. In this decimal approximation, this would be approximately 197 point nine two zero three. But again, let's also check this by determining the volume of the right circular cylinder using a geometric formula. we we'll notice how the height of the right circular cylinder would be seven because our function is f of x comma y equals seven. And because the region of integration is x squared plus y squared less than or equal to nine, we should recognize the radius r is going to be three. So because the volume formula for a right circular cylinder is equal to pi r squared h, or the area of the base times the height, again, we have h equals seven and r equals three, we'd have the volume is equal to pi times three squared times seven, which does give us the same result of 63 pi. Again, this would be cubic units. So in most cases, we won't be able to use a geometric formula to check our work, but in this case, we can. 
Again, we just found the volume of the right circular cylinder below the blue plane and above the XY plane graphed in yellow over the region of integration, which was x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 9. I hope you found this helpful.